Welcome to Jackson. We are in downtown Jackson, Mississippi. I've never been in Mississippi before, but here I am in Mississippi and Jackson, yeah. That's pretty damn cool. Jackson, Mississippi. Hey everyone, Joel Hanson here. Today I am still in Jackson, Mississippi. Technically we're in Flowood. And we are at, excuse me, Mugshots Bar and Grill, Grill and Bar, which is a chain in Mississippi and Alabama and probably maybe other where's, but at least Mississippi, Alabama, um, to do their Mugshot Challenge. The Mugshot it's called. So basically it is a burger. I know there's three patties on it, whack of bacon, cheese, then there's fries and onion rings and blah, 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 blah. You have 12 minutes to complete it. If you do, you get the meal for free and I think a t-shirt. If not, you pay 25 bucks. So let's see what we can do. Let's have some fun, eat some burgers and still getting some more delicious food here in the Mississippi. All right, everyone, so here's the challenge. Uh, it's a little windy out, but it shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, we got basically like three burgers stacked on top of each other, then a thing of fries. Looks pretty good, but we only have 12 minutes. 12 minutes, so uh, let's see what happens. You aren't allowed to dissemble before you start, so I'll probably just lay this right there, make it a little easier. Time starts when you take your first bite. So I'll do that, and then pile of ketchup because Ketchup rocks, the power of ketchup. All right, put that right there. Okay, so what do you say we get started here? So we'll start, we'll say, count of say five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Mugshots doing their Mugshot Challenge. So this is a challenge that I've seen done by quite a few individuals and one I wanted to try. So the main difficulty of this challenge, not only it being probably about th three and a half, four pounds, probably with all the fries, maybe four pounds, three and a half, four pounds, um, which is definitely a big meal. But the main, 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 main thing is it's 12 minute time limit, guys. So not a large time limit at all. That was some good taste of bacon. I also really appreciate uh, the reasonable pricing of the challenge. So with the price tag, it definitely makes it feasible for a lot of people to go try it um, without breaking the bank, without really risking too much. So I think that's very smart and huge uh, kudos to Mugshot for that. Um, additionally, you do not actually need any kind of a reservation to go to the challenge. It is available at all their locations, which again, they have like... They have many, many locations all around Mississippi, Alabama, etc. Again, I don't know if they're anywhere like in any other states, but there are a lot around those areas. And yeah, you can just go up, show up, do the challenge. You don't have to call in advance. Um, I mean, I'm sure if there's like 20 of you or 30 of you going to do the challenge, you might want to call in advance. But yeah, just show up, order it. Pretty dang cool. Um, the burger itself was very, very, very tasty. This is my first time eating at Mugshots, uh, like the restaurant at all. So I'm, I assume all their other burgers are tasty, but it was absolutely delicious. Uh, I was able to get it cooked to my desire. I got it about a medium, we'll call it probably medium, medium rare, medium, whatever it was. And it was cooked perfectly though. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was very, tasted very fresh. Um, the seasonings were great. They had some excellent bacon on the burger. The, the, it sounds funny, like bacon I don't think can ever be bad, but there's definitely bacon that is better than other bacon. And this was a very good tasting bacon, very nice and spicy and cured. Um, again, love the actual burger patties itself. Um, there was a lot of mayonnaise on the burger. Um, and if you know obviously some of the other veggies um, but overall very 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 tasty i would definitely recommend this burger 10 minutes remaining we had one of the workers come out because he had to like watch us to do the challenge i believe he was actually probably like a manager or something along those lines and he was very very friendly um, so huge kudos to that i appreciate again the hospitality um, a place that again i would say they were excited to see people do the challenge because that makes a really big difference when you go to a place where they're not excited to see people do the challenge or they're indifferent or they want you to lose it just it, you feel that right it changes the mood it changes the atmosphere here they were definitely totally fine with having some winners they probably because I'm sure they see the, the value in having winners because it encourages other people to try. It's the marketing for a food challenge needs to have winners. You want to have winners. It's like the lottery. 
you why do people buy lottery tickets why do people buy them because they see others win it's a it's not impossible if it was absolutely impossible nobody ever you know completed it then the challenge is ultimately going to suffer in the end you want it to be beatable you want people to come and try it and like i said i think that both the attitude that they have for this challenge plus the price tag just is so suiting and again very a very 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 smart move um, when it came to the french fries, the french fries were also actually really nice tasting. Like, I don't generally compliment french fries too often, but they had a nice seasoning on them. They were very, uh, which was very flavorful. They were, they had a little, they had a good crisp to them. Um, I think, you know, a little abrasive um, in regards to eating them quickly, but if I was just eating them leisurely, they'd be a very, very, very enjoyable and tasty french fry. Are we out for time? Eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining. We'll so coming on about four minutes in, got my burger done, just the fries left. And uh, yeah, so fingers crossed. I would like to probably go back and try to give this a real run one day, try to do it as quick as I could. Um, this was actually the second challenge of the day. So again, it was a put your head down, just try to finish it. I, because I, 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 I was really hoping I could finish it in the 12 minutes. I knew this was a short time limit. Um, but I figured I would hopefully be able to do it because the challenge earlier wasn't too, too, too big. So guys, let me know down below if you think I should go retry this and see how quickly I could do it. I think I could do it a little quicker. So, you know, maybe give me an estimate of how quick you think I could do it if I was absolutely fresh and I was, you know, ready to rock and really gave it a good all. But that, everybody, that's pretty much the rest of or all the information I have to give to you today. Um, Rain is also beside me. She was doing the challenge, but we both decided to do our own videos and only record ourselves. Um, but besides that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll let you get to the rest of it. Hopefully we'll get some wins. And uh, don't forget, there is a little bit of a scenery of Jackson, Mississippi at the end of the video as well. So, I mean, hey, you might as well be sure to check that out. Uh, Jackson, Mississippi is a really cool place. This flow would just be outside Jackson. But uh, yeah, I totally recommend Jackson, Mississippi. We would recommend mugshots. The one last thing I'll speak to, as this may be a common question, is why did Rain and I decide to do some videos separate? So in the trip where we did probably about 30 videos, there's probably about five, which we did independ individually, independently. Um, this was something that we decided it would be the best. Uh, the reason being, so this was right in the middle of the napkin uh, scandal. Um, I was publicly defending her, asking people to give her a second chance because she was getting a lot of flack and a lot of heat um, for the napkin use. That being said, um, as part of that campaign and part of a strategy to try to protect her, I suggested we do some videos separately um, just to kind of help dissociate the image at the moment the, from the negative publicity she was getting on my channel um, after again the, the said videos. Um, so that's why we did a couple videos separately. So all this was actually being done to protect her image and then hopefully reincorporate her back into the channel on a positive note. I'm sure there have been any misunderstanding or miscommunication. I don't know why it would not have been mentioned at the time of filming or after filming. So I really don't think there was any miscommunication or misunderstanding as even the gentleman knew we were filming separately. And there would have been an undoubted understanding that we were filming separately. It would have been impossible to have not have identified this with her tables pulled apart and us each doing our own individual camera setup. Otherwise she would be centered and in frame on my camera and I would be centered on her video as well. And of course, if I had known I was being filmed, I'd be talking and playing to both cameras, just as we have in any other video. Five minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Thank you. Is that done? We're done. Uh, so it's just finished up. Uh, I think maybe about seven-ish minutes. Six and a half. Six and a half, seven minutes. So get the meal for free. I believe you get a t-shirt for that as well. And uh, yeah, not too bad. So definitely a bit of a burger challenge for only 12 minutes. Good size, but everything tasted really good. Burgers were cooked great. <clears throat> Excuse me, Ooh, that needed to come out. Well done, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Ugh. Gotta burp again. But with that, of course, everybody, until next time, say happy the hungry, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Don't do what I do, but get to yourself some good taste of food. Of course, even better, have a lovely life. And here is the Ross Barnett Reservoir 
in basically Jackson, Mississippi, or just outside of it. So it's definitely a large body of water. Definitely lots of people camping over there by the water, so that's pretty cool. Nice little camp spot. Got some, uh, got a restaurant right on the water. Obviously, there must be a few people that dock little boats or canoes or something there. And yeah, we have this little walkie outlet inlet thing, and it's a pretty cool spot. I mean, something to see when you're in the Jackson, Mississippi area, and lots of people fishing out there. Welcome to Jackson. There's some poles here by the trees. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.